Hi and welcome back to Fishing with David File. It's June 1st, 2017 and I'm out on the Willamette River today in the St. John's area fishing for salmon. Um, as it turned out, I chose to use spinners and troll fast today with Pro Troll Flashers and um, I picked up a fish real early, like before 7 o'clock. So um, maybe that choice was right. We did. I didn't see a whole lot caught. I picked up some passengers at 7 o'clock and we trolled around for, we trolled around until 12 o'clock and we didn't see a fish caught. And that was down in St. John's area and moved up to the Swan Island Basin. Although I want to mention uh, one of our viewers, his name is Jonathan, and um, he's in a green hues boat today, showed me that he had caught a fish. So good job, Jonathan. Uh, man, that's just totally awesome on a really slow day. You guys are killing it. So anyway, watch my video and we'll show you the fish at the end. I'll detail how we caught it. And I'll see you next time on Fishing with David Pyle. So today I'm on the Willamette River. I'm uh, using Pro Troll flashers. I was trolling pretty fast with 12 ounces, and I hooked this fish. So seems uh, I'm having a bit of good luck today. I just want to tire this fish, so when I bring him up to the boat. He doesn't have a lot of horsepower and I can land him. Nice fish. Keep some tension on him. Try to get him as tired as possible. Still working. Feel I can get him up flat. Okay. Okay. So the story this morning is I got some great advice from my buddy John Manser and that was to turn the motor off and get this fish really tired flat up on his side and not try to horse him in and worry about the hooks coming out. Just have to go with it and uh, cross my fingers that the hooks stayed in. So I got this beautiful fish on Pro Troll Flasher. You can see my flasher here, purple plaid. I had 30, uh, 30 inches of leader and this time uh, this is a pounded silver Simon 3.5 with uh, red beads on it and 12 ounces and I was cruising pretty fast about three miles an hour uh, when this guy struck me so um, I just got a fish. 
and we immediately get that in our box and in water and bled out. So I'll show you how I bleed a fish. I think most uh, fishermen know how to do this. But the second piece of this is to immediately get it on ice. And um, that will keep the flesh really nice and firm. If you don't do that, your fish is actually gonna cook. It's been out there, it's generated a lot of energy, heated up its body uh, through that fight, and it'll just tend to cook the, cook the meat. You don't want that. You want it immediately cool down as soon as possible. So um, I'll show you here how I bleed it. I've got it in, a, in my box here with water running on it. The easiest way to do this is just to simply take this gill plate here. Wow, look at that. Um, and just cut it out, cut those gills. And you can do it on both sides. A uh, second way to do that is just go straight down through the center and there's some uh, white arteries that lead right to the gill plate and you can cut those arteries just effectively the same thing. So I'm doing that right now on this side. Careful with your fingers. Um, and again, second way is just to go in there and slice the gills. So, this fish is going to be bleed out, and then immediately I'm going to throw it on ice.